Hi, let's take a look on how to add uh, more than one uh, ramp definition or ramping system in our uh, design and pack, whether it's uh, a pit design or dump design the difference between uh, dump and pit design is that uh, outward in, uh, in pit uh, string means upward and uh, in the dump uh, and uh, the dump design outward means uh, downward. Uh, everything else uh, are similar. Uh, assume that uh, this uh, segment uh, is my uh, tour string at the bottom of uh, my pit design. I've made some modification uh, to uh, create the entrance for uh, two ramping systems. One here between these two points and another one here between these two points uh, in rest of uh, GMPs uh, by GMP I mean general mining packages as far as I know by in a Vulcan that are minus the DOP and the Gemcom gems uh, there are some settings uh, that uh, create automatically uh, modifications uh, to make room for uh, your ramping uh, entrance but in Serpac you should use uh, design or uh, I better say cat tools to modify strings adding some points uh, moving them and using uh, snap tools uh, so that uh, the uh, ramps uh, have uh, entrance points uh, that is uh, safe and operational for uh, your haulage for your trucks as they ramp up. Uh, for example, uh, this is string uh, beginning was so simple. I've added these two points to uh, modify the ramping, uh, the ramps entrance. And uh, if I select this uh, segment. Uh, is in the string uh, uh, segment number one in the string number one uh, it is uh, completely coplanar uh, uh, 3d lengths and 2d lengths are exactly uh, the same and uh, it's a closed segment uh, for uh, segment uh, expansion and uh, ramp definition uh, you don't need to uh, necessarily create a closed segment it can be an open segment but this uh, property that is the direction of uh, your segment is really meaningful and influences the uh, behavior of uh, tools we are gonna use in this uh, short video uh, the segment is clockwise that means uh, uh, the point order if I type PN point number uh, the point order that is used to digitize this uh, segment uh, are uh, uh, located in a uh, clockwise manner I uh, see here number 11 to 13 not vice versa so this is uh, Clockwise. If you want to uh, reverse the direction, you can use this tool, reverse the order of points of the segment. Uh, also, you can find it here, segment and reverse. Another thing that you should uh, take into consideration is that uh, uh, from the section view, you may notice that this uh, segment is uh, completely coplanar, as I told you, but. Uh, uh, when you are designing and insert pack, uh, it's uh, not necessarily needed to be coplanar. Uh, maybe in some occasions, uh, uh, the uh, elevation and z value of some points are different. But mostly, in most cases, uh, the segment uh, is coplanar. And uh, another uh, setting that may help you during uh, designing uh, is uh, the number of undo operation uh, for each layer that uh, that is uh, 
driven from uh, this uh, setting here maximum under operation I have set it to uh, 50 times uh, for each layer I am working in the main graphics layer and uh, that's all let's uh, start uh, uh, adding uh, definition for uh, two uh, RAMs uh, you can use uh, this tool or from the menu uh, design fit design and the new RAM definition you should uh, select uh, two uh, points at the ramp entrance and uh, these two points should be adjusted for example if I, the order is not uh, uh, meaningful uh, and it does not matter but uh, if I select uh, these two points uh, it will prompt up a warning uh, the ramp points must be adjusted I can select uh, these two points as I said, the order of uh, selection uh, doesn't matter. Uh, your ramp uh, should have a name, uh, but this name will not be saved uh, when I uh, save this layer into a file. It's just temporary for this layer as, my, as far as it is open. It is loaded. Uh, but uh, this uh, property is really important, ramp string number. The ramp string number should be uh, unique among all of uh, the rest of the string numbers used in your uh, design, uh, whether uh, between uh, the two and crest uh, strings and also rest of the ramp strings. Uh, assume that uh, you're gonna have around uh, 10 uh, benches, each bench uh, has uh, it's minimum two sets of uh, strings, uh, one for two and the uh, other for uh, crest. Uh, so, but if we start from, uh, yeah, as in my uh, case, uh, from uh, string number one up to string number 20, they should be reserved for uh, uh, two and crest uh, strings. Uh, and uh, the ramp string should not be any of uh, these. Uh, uh, numbers uh, so try to uh, use a ramp string that is uh, uh, much higher than uh, what you assume uh, uh, will be used uh, for uh, two and crest strings also these uh, ramp strings should be uh, unique between uh, different ramping systems uh, 100 uh, is a good number uh, the ramp type uh, could be uh, clockwise and clockwise are all cut. Uh, these uh, two ram types uh, will uh, obey and will follow the uh, segment that your uh, this ramp uh, is defined onto. But if you want to uh, expand uh, your ramp uh, in a direction. Uh, rather than uh, the direction and uh, the path of uh, the uh, two and crest the strings uh, you can use uh, this ramp type uh, we, we are not gonna talk about uh, these types but uh, uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise uh, depends on whether the segment uh, is uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise if the segment is clockwise so these uh, words and these types uh, are as they are named but uh, if the segment is anti-clockwise uh, they will uh, behave uh, in reverse order so please take into consideration uh, the direction of your segment and the combination of the direction of your segment with the, with the direction of your ramp i will choose clockwise for this ramp it will go uh, this way. Also for the next ramp, I will uh, choose uh, uh, the next definition uh, again clockwise. So these two ramps will chase each other as they are expanded by a bench height. The ramp width is now 16. Uh, Serpak uh, has measured uh, these two points uh, as I selected. 
the last and uh, rounded up uh, to the nearest number that is uh, 16 meters uh, you can change it but uh, it will not uh, change until the next uh, point I mean when it's uh, expanding and creating new points uh, for the ramp and also uh, the next uh, segment uh, of uh, pit design that will be if this is a toe the next segment of the pit design will be uh, crest for the new bench uh, it will uh, change the ramp width at the next point uh, ramp gradient 1 on 10 that means uh, uh, 10 person is ok and we will uh, lift the rest of the uh, properties and uh, fields uh, as default. Now we have uh, added uh, one wrap definition to our segment. If you want to change and check uh, this definition, you can use this tool or come here to the menus and wrap properties uh, or ask us to select a point on the segment. It does not matter which point. Uh, on each segment if there are any definitions uh, it will show us in uh, separate rows I have only one uh, ramp definition we can change uh, some of the properties but uh, some others uh, cannot be changed here like the type and uh, string number and name but uh, these uh, features can be changed if you want to change uh, for example, the string number or a ramp type, uh, you should delete this, delete this, and again define a new ramp definition. Let's add uh, uh, our second ramp definition between these two points. Again, uh, selecting the uh, points uh, order, the order of uh, point selection does not matter. <coughs> I will name it ramp uh, B. And uh, Sir Pike itself has uh, incremented up uh, the ramp stream number to 101, it's okay. And again, ramp type is clockwise, ramp is 13, 13 meters, and uh, gradient is 10 percent. Again, let's check the definition. Now we have uh, two uh, rows. Uh, yeah, and the uh, tube uh, ramps defined in this segment. If you save uh, this layer and close it, uh, I mean, uh, right click and delete the layer or load it again, uh, load it from the navigator. This definition will not be uh, kept uh, in the file, and uh, these uh, settings are temporarily for only the uh layers not for the files that was the point and uh, let's expand it by bench height for example five meters again here horizontal direction uh, is dependent on the segment direction expanding here if you want to expand it outward uh, really be expanded outward if uh, the segment direction is uh, clockwise. If it's anti-clockwise, contract and uh, you should uh, set it on contract if you want to expand it outward. My segment is uh, clockwise, so the settings are okay. And there is a direction up, I want to bring it 5 meters up uh, by uh, the angle of barrier that is. Uh, uh, 64 degrees here let's erase uh, point numbers ERN and also point markers ERN and also temporary markers ERT uh, as you see uh, these two ramps are chasing each other uh, so that I uh, wanna uh, add switch back here Expanded by bear width, uh, the ramp number B. Uh, these are the names we set. The ramp number B, I wanna uh, have uh, an inner radius of uh, 5 meters and about 80 meter uh, degrees. 
switchback angle and uh, uh, 3 meters uh, bearing width it's ok I should modify this uh, toe string by deleting this redundant point and also raise temporary markers maybe my pit wall should be uh, more uh, smooth like this, this and it looks ok for the next expanding by uh, bench height again 5 meters like this as you see by these uh, two uh, uh, lamps are now uh, uh, going to meet each other let's see what happens if they meet or uh, uh, at a good elevation or not and uh, keep it in the settings yes in this elevation our two lamps are gonna meet each other and uh, as soon as here uh, but it's near the surface uh, near the topography and uh, it's a pit exit let's make it DDM. Yeah, right. uh, I have uh, actually in a real uh, project uh, I will show you I have a pit design uh, that has a single uh, ramping system uh, from bottom to the surface it goes uh, counterclockwise anticlockwise up to this uh, bench that uh, because of uh, tube uh, destination for uh, two different material classes one for waste uh, uh, and uh, uh, east and one for crusher for minerals on the south west uh, I needed uh, two uh, ramping with different ramping systems uh, especially bifurcation uh, from these benches uh, upward so I've modified uh, the berm string after I expanded my berm width this string especially let's uh, mm, show the point markers string number 2 and uh, let me check the segment this is string number 2, segment number 1 I've modified these points uh, so as not only uh, make room for trucks uh, to maneuver here in different uh, paths. Also, I have enough room here to uh, uh, advance in a working uh, in an active bench here. It's an actual and real uh, project. That's all.